So in these problems, it's really important that you have a good picture. It is completely normal to start up drawing many times over before you get it right, but it's worth the effort because it's a great help. So I'm going to draw you that. So we are talking about a square-based straight or right pyramid, which means that well, we draw a nice square like this, and then try to find the point that, that should be the center, that feels like it's the center, and then go straight up, and then connect this point with the four vertices of the square. And then one more thing that you can do to make your picture sort of pop up is you can make the visible lines darker than the ones that shouldn't be visible. See, unless the pyramid is made of glass, we wouldn't see this edge here on this edge. So it's worth working for a good picture. When I was a student, every many geometric problems took me eight pages because I spent seven pages trying to get the picture, uh, the drawing right. Okay, so here is our pyramid. The base is a square with sides 14 inches long and all other edges are 20 units long. And what we're asked to find is the height of the pyramid, this line. In this problem, in this problem, you have to apply the Pythagorean theorem twice. There are several different solutions, but I'm gonna show you the one that's in, in the handout as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on a triangular face like this, uh, this is an isosceles triangle with sides 14, 20, and 20. And we're going to find the height of this uh, triangular face, which, is, which has a name, it's called a slant height. So when we redraw this picture, we have an isosceles triangle with sides 20, 20, and 14. And because the triangle is isosceles, we can actually figure out this height because we know that this side is exactly half of the entire uh, side length, so the horizontal side in this case is 7. So I'm going to call this little h. We can state the Pythagorean theorem. Be careful because h is not the hypotenuse, right? The hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle, which is 20. So 8 squared plus 7 squared equals 20 squared. So 8, so 8 squared is 400 minus 49, which is... 351. I don't think 351 is a square. So H. So we solve the algebraic equation, find both solutions, and then rule out the negative one. So the so the slant height is square root of 351. Unless this is a, co a perfect square, don't worry about simplifying it, and don't worry about rewriting it as a decimal, because all we because as you will see, the next line, we're going to square it back to 351 again. Because if we go back to this picture, what we just found, little h, is, is this orange line. This turns out to be square root of 351 units long. And now we can find, which I call capital H, the height of the entire pyramid by looking at this right triangle. So the hypotenuse is a little h square root of 351 and this leg well it's also half of the base of the square so it's it's seven units so that is the second Pythagorean theorem which goes like this um, 8 squared plus 7 squared equals to little h squared which is 8 squared plus 7 squared equals to square root of 351 squared. So h squared is 351 minus 49. So h squared is 302. Which means that h is algebraically plus minus square root of 302 but of course we rule out the negative one and therefore the answer is square, uh, is square root of 302 units that's the height of the pyramid thank you for watching